Hi Bird fans, it's just Tim from Bowshed Brighton on board this 10 metre Cadillac for a walkthrough of her interior and virtual reality. So what does that mean? Well we hope that this will enable you to have a really good look around the boat. You can look where you want, when you want. Hopefully you get a good feel for the boat, for head height, for how the space flows and if she might be the one for you. So how do you do it? All you need to do is click and drag or touch your screen and drag up, down, left or right and you can look around to your heart's content. You don't have to look where I'm looking. What I would say is you, um, some people do say that they feel a little bit sensitive to camera movement. So if you feel that you might be sensitive to when the camera's being moved, moved about, just avert your eyes when you know the camera's going to be moved. And then when the camera's safely back down, you can come back to me and we'll carry on the tour together. But let's hope that that doesn't happen. Right then, so here we are. How am I, how am I feeling? I'm feeling rather regal really. As with all these catamarans, we've got a great big saloon here up above on the we've got the port hull down here the starboard hull down there cabins at most corners ahead in the in the corner where there isn't a cabin and just loads and loads of room we've got a nice u-shaped area here huge great big table windows everywhere i haven't taken down the main uh, the upper coach roof curtains but we've still got lots and lots of room from the side windows as you can see they're massive and we've got lots of windows at the back as well Great big companion way, it's a stable door type so that the top half is separate from the bottom if you want it to be. And it's very easy to just step through from the upper deck should you fancy a break from the wheel and just to come in here and relax. It really does feel very, very big, as, do, as does a lot of this boat. We've got lots and lots of big um, stowages and lockers. We've got loads of space on the upper deck. Everywhere feels very big, very regal and very relaxing too. It's nice in here. So. What have we got in here? Well, if, let's do the, the standing height test first. I'm five foot nine, loads and loads of room. It does curve down at the uh, the forward end of the upper coach roof there, but that doesn't matter because you're only going to be sitting down there and enjoying your dinner and your dream tea. Uh, but yeah, we've got hatches up here for ventilation, windows all the way around and all the way at the back here as well. So lots and lots and lots of light and ventilation and it's easy access to talk to the helm as well. We've got a seat forward of the helm. The compass is here, if I just hop round. We've got the electrical panel here with uh, the battery controls, all the switches you'd ever need. We have nav techs, the stow log, radar, and yeah, everything you need in here. On this side, we've got the GPS, we've got the VHF, somewhere to charge the kids' iPhones, which is probably the most important thing these days, right? <laughs> um, yeah, really feels great up here. Nice and elevated, and you can see down both sides of the hulls as well, so if anybody's misbehaving, they won't get away with it. So, yeah, really like it up here, it's good. What I would say is, uh, I think um, if you were going to make this place your own, if it's mine, I'd probably look at replacing the carpet because it's quite worn, and just do a good clean through. But um, yeah, very nice indeed. So let's take you, so I'm gonna pick the camera up, and we'll take you, we'll start on the port side today, Let's go down three steps. There we go. And I'll put you into the into the head there. So there we go. So really nice size compartment. We have behind the door, we've got a shower nestling there. We've got the sink, decent space for stowing all of your, um, uh, whatever it is people store there in bathrooms, but soaps and towels, etc. We've got stowage underneath and we've got the manual head here. And we've got a great big window with um, an opening uh, section as well to allow the well, to ventilate, and uh, it's frosted as well for privacy. So, uh, yeah, that should be plenty enough for a, for a family to use. Very good. So, let's pick the camera up again, and I'm going to take you through, and I'm going to place you just up here, slightly elevated position. So, here we are. We're in the porthole. The head was through there. Well, it still is, but we're not in there anymore. And here we are in the porthole. Stacks and stacks and stacks of binnacles here for all of your all of your bits and pieces to stow away at sea. Not that this boat is going to be violently rocking like a monohull because she's a catamaran, but it's always good to have things secure for sea, isn't it? Um, lots of room to walk through here. I don't feel at all encumbered and um, yeah, plenty of nice wide space. A lot of catamarans do suffer from this sort of having to walk through a little bit, but it feels great. And uh, let's do the walkthrough test. So we're coming through. We've got something to grab onto here. Decent fiddles, not massive, but there's something to grab onto there. And I guess we go straight from there down here we've got fiddled work surface here fiddles here too uh, no handholds though but there is plenty although she's nice and wide there's lots to grab onto should it be a little bit rough so i'd be quite happy um, navigating down here myself in inclement weather no problem uh, here we have the navigation area and as you can see 
whacking great big chart table. You can have several charts out there if you like, if that's what you like. Just be you know the, the camera, we've got the stereo there, and um, some there's room here for a seat actually. We've got drawers, we've got drawers, we've got cupboards, and we've got a great big cupboard here underneath where the camera is. So lots of storage for about 10 million charts and all the bits and pieces you would like if you're still using charts. So yeah, and a great view across the cabin as well also. And you'll also notice windows, windows, windows. Most of them have opening sections too. So if you're somewhere a bit warmer like the Mediterranean, I'm sure you could set up a nice draft through here. You'll also notice there are um, ventilation hatches or, or light hatches through from the saloon through to the two forward cabins as well. So that's also going to help the circulation of air. Really great. So, right, let's take you through to the port forward cabin and I'm going to try and secure you there hopefully it won't wobble and fall off there we go oh slightly wobbly there we go I'll just shut the door a little bit so here we are port forward cabin loads of room I've got lots and lots of room to stand here we've got a small on well an on it's half an on sweep because you've got the sink but not the head but we have a sink here we have stowage below stowage behind too as I mentioned we've got the hatch forward through to the to the main saloon We've got a hatch above to open for, for ventilation. We've got the windows forward, opening window to port. There's just so many windows on this boat. It feels nice, like an airy. And I think I keep saying that, so I'll try not to say it anymore. We have the, the double bed here. Um, fairly, I think, the yeah, reasonably easy to get in and out of. We've got stowage below as well. We've actually got a, a small step here, I think this is, to help you get up. Uh, on the outboard side, we have got a cupboard, a small seat here stowage along the port side here more binnacle for your bits shelving and another seat here too so plenty of room for two people to exist in comfort i think and uh, i think in a, in a little bit of style as well so let's close the oh that's the door back open and i'll pick the camera up and we'll walk slowly through back along the port hull up three steps through the saloon down three steps on the starboard side and I'm going to place you on the shelf at the back of the cabin here so you're now in the starboard aft quarter of the boat got a smaller door here so I'm having to go through slightly sideways so there's a bit of a, a bit of um, space issue there for the larger people but there we go um, the camera's sitting on a shelf and there's two shelves on the port side of this cabin got the heater controls above and we have the single bed only in this cabin here um, but uh, it looks like a reasonable length there too so I think you'd be quite comfortable there if you just wanted to sleep on your own bit of space here for changing and a bit of storage underneath it does what it says on the tin it's a single cabin in the starboard aft quarter so uh, if that's what you like you could exist in here in comfort right so let's pick you up again and take you smoothly and slowly oops through to the galley now a galley should have a sink it should have a fridge it should have a, a hob it should have an oven and it should have lots of stowage and this galley has it all basically we've got the four but for the four ring hob here we have a cooker underneath it looks like it has a grill we've got a whole row of drawers down here we've got work surface where the camera is we've got the sink forward of the camera the drying area and then a bit more work surface with the always need a spice rack nice to see and beneath that we've got drawers cupboard drawer and the fridge and then on the inboard side as you can see we've got basically lots of stowage nice shelf binnacles cupboard binnacles again and somewhere to hang those all important coffee mugs and also we've got quite a large uh, storage area for for the larger items like like the pots and pans and the plates etc under the starboard side of the the saloon seating there so yeah really good and again as i walk through i'm not touching anything i'm not trying to i'm not trying to keep narrow or anything like that it's just this door that's a little bit narrow down here everybody but everywhere everywhere else feels fine although this door here feels like it might be a little narrow so i'm just having to bend slightly to go through but it's not a huge issue don't mind at all and uh, of course you've got the windows so as I'm washing up and doing my bits and pieces here I've got a great view of the sea and, uh, and the outside which is where I'd rather be rather than washing up but you can't have everything can you so let's take you forwards now to the star forward starboard forward cabin and uh, at the forward end of the starboard hull and I've just got you perched there and as you can see 
not quite a mirror image of the port forward cabin, but very, very close. Instead of um, the stowage on the outboard side, in this cabin you've got uh, a, basically another a, a, an L-shaped seat which continues all the way around the, the starboard forward side of the cabin. We have cupboard, stowage binnacles, and the, the, the cabins are lined nicely with this uh, sort of um, greyish carpet colour, and it all looks in reasonable condition. And I think the, the carpet is, if not the same as this, a very, very similar hue, but I think I, I'd definitely look at uh, perhaps changing the carpet because it's a bit worn. Um, but yeah, big double bed, easy to get up on. There's a step here, there's some storage underneath, and again, windows everywhere, loads of head height in here, no problem. And again, we've got the half, uh, uh, half the ensuite here, we've got a sink, storage behind, and I think there's probably a bit of storage beneath as well, but I can't see it because the door's latched open and I'm not going to unlatch it. So, uh, yeah, well, very good. What do we think? Right, let's pick you up and we'll take you back into the saloon for a quick rundown of this boat. And I'll put you back on the saloon table there. So, this has been Tim from Boatshed Brighton. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, virtual reality tour of the inside of this boat. It's been lovely having you along. I hope you've got an idea of how the space flows, if she might work for you, or if you just wanted to see the inside of a Cadillac and what it's like, I hope you enjoyed that too. Um, in general, in summary, I'd say the boat, uh, the exterior could do with a good clean and polish, that would make it look lovely. The interior, I'd probably look at the carpets and a good clean through. We've got uh, single cabin there, double cabin there, double cabin there, head behind me, u-shaped seating massive windows everywhere stacks of ventilation stacks of light huge cockpit two engines very nice helming area what more could you ask for i would feel very very happy if i was to buy this boat and take her touring for uh, a few weeks or a few months or even longer with my partner i think she'd be happy too because there's just so much space it would be like a home from home and there's no real um we're, we're not compromising on anything, I don't think. So, yeah, if you'd like to see her or if you'd like any more information, just go to BoatshedBrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality pictures. Thanks for coming along. Hope you've had a great day. Hope the rest of your day is just as great. And we hope to see you soon. Take care and bye.